Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be filming the first in what I'm hoping is going to become a series of videos. So just to give you a little bit of background, I've been talking recently about how I'm trying to think about videos that I can make about plus size fashion without having to buy clothes every time. Because don't get me wrong, I love my clothing haul so so much, they're my favourite videos to make, but there are only so many clothes that one person can own, my wardrobe is bursting at the seams and it's just not sustainable for me to be buying clothes every single week to film videos. As much as I would love to keep buying clothes every single week, it is just not the right thing for me to be doing. So I've been trying to think about how I can make content about plus size fashion for you without doing that. And some of my favourite makeup videos to watch are these will I buy it type videos. The two that I watch are from Samantha March, who I think kind of started the concept off, and um, Angelica, who I've mentioned quite a lot. I'll link them both down below. So they make these videos once a week all about the new makeup that's been released. What's new? What are they interested in buying? What are they thinking? Why has that been made? Just things that are interesting to talk about. And they don't have the makeup. They just talk about it and then they talk about what they're going to buy. And then in the comments, people share their opinions. And I thought, we could do that about plus size clothing, couldn't we? We could talk about what's been released this week. What am I thinking about buying? What am I a bit like? hmm, I don't understand that, what was the purpose, or well, things that are just intriguing. And then I can tell you what I'm planning to buy, if I'm not sure about whether I should buy something or not, you guys at home can help me figure that out. And then I can report back in my hauls on the things that I bought to see what you think. So this is the first time of me trying this. If you enjoy it, please let me know because I would love to make a series out of this, but obviously I just wanna make sure that it's something that you're interested in. And with this being my first time of doing it, if you have any feedback or suggestions at all, please let me know in the comments because this is very much a work in progress, but progress, process, work in progress. <laughs> but I'm excited to be doing something different. So the way that this would normally work is I would have a look across the shops online at what's been released in the past week or so and I would share some things. Obviously with this being the first one I can't just focus on the last week because it, I haven't done a week before if that makes sense so I've tried to look at what's really new at the shops but it'll become easier from next week because I'll only have a week's worth of releases to look at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to the side so that I can pop up some screenshots for you. I will link everything down below in the description, everything that I talk about. Some of the links will be affiliated, so if you use those, thank you so much. It really helps to support my channel, but if you don't want to use them, you can just search for them and you don't need to use the links. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pop up the pictures so that I can talk about the items. And yeah, I can't wait to hear your thoughts about this series. If you are new here, hi, I'm Trina Louise. I make videos all about plus size fashion, beauty, and vlogs. And if you wanted to subscribe and stick around, I would love to have you. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I've moved to the side and what I've done is I've screenshotted on my phone the things that I want to talk about. I think there's quite a bit to talk about today because obviously this is the first episode. Um, so let me get to the top of my screenshots. So funnily enough, the first dress that I wanted to talk about is from Boohoo and is very similar to what I've got on now. I'll pop up the pictures like I said. This one I've got on now is from Nasty Gal, but it's more of a, um, it's a smock dress and it's got sleeves. Whereas this dress, have I moved across the loft? Is this better? This dress is more of a sundress and you can get it in black or pink. It's £14.40 at the moment, but with Boohoo, the prices change all the time. And I just thought this could be really fun for more summery days. So this is really nice, but when it's like, sun, beaming hot, which never happens in the UK. I thought this could be a really cute dress, but I'm so tempted to get it in red. But I don't know if the red makes it look a little bit too much like a picnic basket. Um, so you'll have to let me know what you think. Should I have two dresses that are this similar? I think they're quite different in terms of the style. And if I do pick it up, should I get it in the red or should I get it in the black? I think I prefer the black, but if I got the red, then it kind of feels like a completely different dress and I could justify it a little bit more. Um, but I just thought it'd be quite cute. Spaghetti straps are always difficult because I have to wear a bra, but I feel like I've just accepted that you're gonna see my bra straps because I, I, I struggle to make bras work as they are, never mind trying to find a strapless bra, so my bra will show. Um, but I just think it's really cute and it's boohoo, so it's super affordable. And I just thought, you know, for sitting in the park, 
taking in whatever sunshine the world decides to give us. I think that this could be really cute. So this is on my probably gonna pick up list, but I just need your help as to which color, but I just thought it was so cute. And this kind of gingham style pattern is so in at the moment. So if you're looking for something at an affordable price, that could be one for you. Sticking with Boohoo, I've got quite a few things from Boohoo to show you, because they've just been, they release like, Boohoo are like the color pop of clothing. <laughs> they just release things all the time and they've, released a polka dot puffy sleeved midi dress and it sounds beautiful they've got it in this black color and in the blue you know me the black and white polka dot is screaming at me but I'm really trying to like inject some color into my wardrobe at the moment so I really like the look of the baby blue one I'm just not sure about um like the chest area of the dress you know how it kind of cuts across the the boob and there's that flat piece across the waistline I'm not sure how that would sit and also the is a slit so I'm always like how high is that slit gonna come up are you gonna reveal everything <sighs> I think it might be one to try those little puffy um short sleeves it looks super cute but help me I I'm so close to just going let me just get black and white it's my safe zone but that little baby blue one I think that could be so so cute I think yes Baby blue is probably the way to go for that one, but I just thought, it's, it's just, oh, I love it. Polka dots, polka dots are everything. This next dress is not gonna be one for those of you that don't like the flowery dresses. This is a flowery dress lover's dream. It is so, so beautiful. It's a little bit more pricey for Boohoo. It was originally 25 pounds. It's 20 pounds at the moment with whatever deal it is that they've got on today. But I just think it is gorgeous. The only thing I'm not sure is that it's got the like elasticated waist where it's kind of like, um, oh, that waffle um, elastication. And then it's got a little bit at the top that flips over. And I'm just like, I just wish it was more of a simple design than that. That little layer that's kind of like flipped over or that little bit of extra layer that doesn't have the pattern on. I'm just not sure. I think this is one that I'd have to try. And also with it being a tiered dress, <laughs> everything's tiered these days. I would have to make sure that the hem of the tears isn't too tight. I carry a lot of weight in my stomach, so I need things to be looser fitting on my stomach area so that when I sit down, I have room for my stomach to fall in place, if that makes sense. So oh, it's beautiful. How beautiful for like a summer outdoor wedding. I think this would be gorgeous for. I think this is one I'd need to try. It also looks, well, it, I don't know, it doesn't look too short for Boohoo. Boohoo like their short dresses. Um, but I just think it is oh, just the flowers, the colors. This is it, I'm trying to bring color into my wardrobe and I think this could be a beautiful one. Now this next item, I feel like I've seen on quite a few people's Instagram pages and so much of me wants it, but I'm just like, other than that Instagram picture, when are you gonna wear this? When are you gonna wear a pastel multicolored blazer other than for that one picture that you'll take on Instagram? I'm not, I'm not sure how beautiful is it though. I've never seen anything like this. It is originally 28 pounds reduced to 22 pound 40 and it is a tailored blazer. I'm just getting into the world of blazers at the moment. I'm experimenting, it's quite new to me, but it is, oh, it's a candy floss dream. Do I need this because I want it? But how would you style it guys? How would you, I was thinking with um, some like white, like loose fitting white trousers, something like that could look really cute, but I'm not 100% sure. So let me know what you think of this one and how you would style it because I'm honestly so, so tempted because it's beautiful. I just, I just don't know if it'll just sit in my wardrobe. So you may see this appear in a future haul. You may not, you probably will though, because it's just, it's so beautiful, but I'm gonna need your help on styling it for sure. So I've got two more things from Boohoo to show you. One is this super cute orange dress. Again, trying to get some color into my um, dark wardrobe that I seem to have built up recently, trying to just inject some brightness. And I just think this would be really nice. It's got a little wrap top and it's one that's sewn in place. So hopefully it's not gonna be too gapey. It's got 
some little puff sleeves and it's a really cute length it looks like it's just below the knee which I love and it just looks like it's that kind of dress that looks cute but also looks comfortable I'm all about the looking good whilst being comfortable and I think that it's just it's just a simple dress but I think I think it would be right up my alley so I really like the look of that and the last thing that I found on Boohoo that I'm interested in is this purple lilac crop top that just looks stunning I need to own it it needs to be in my wardrobe it's got that doby mesh material and it's got the little mesh like cap sleeves and oh, are they cap sleeves have I just made that up I'm not very good at like the technical terms as we all know but they've got little mesh sleeves and it's ruched at the top and it's cropped but it's not like it's not like a like it's not like a bikini top it's a crop with a bit more material to it and I just think it's beautiful and hopefully it would just go really nice with my hair so yeah kind of interested in that as well there's quite a lot on my wish list at boohoo at the moment and i'm hopefully going to be doing a haul quite soon um because yeah that wish list is getting pretty full the next dress is from h&m now i have been craving a h&m order for months for months you know there was a period where i just ordered from h&m quite constantly but I really struggled to find enough to do a H&M order recently so I had another look today and there was only one thing that was new in that I was interested in and it's this blue midi length dress they also do it in black but I think it would be the blue that I'm interested in it's got the elasticated chest which isn't my favorite but it seems to be a thing these days looks like it would be a midi length it almost looks like it's imitating a denim dress and I love denim dresses I talk about it all the time very difficult to get good plus size fitting um, denim dresses and this kind of looks like it would imitate it but with more of a like free flowing material I like it. it I'm just not it's not gonna make me place an order from H&M I don't think it's pretty but it's not enough for me to like for me to order just one thing from a shop it needs to be something special I find it easy when I'm ordering quite a lot to just chuck another thing in the basket but if I'm doing an order for just one thing it needs to be something special and I do think this is pretty and I'll keep it in my favorites but I don't think it's enough for me to place an order. You'll have to let me know on your thoughts on H&M at the moment because as I said I was obsessed with them for a while but I feel like well they don't they just don't release that much in their plus sizes very often so I think that'll be sitting in my favourites basket for a little while longer. So next up we have ASOS. You know I love ASOS and I'm definitely feeling an ASOS haul soon. It's been well, it's probably only been a couple of weeks, let's be honest, but I'm always wanting to do another ASOS haul. The first dress I've found, I kind of need you to talk me out of it because I don't need it because it's this dress that's from Simply Be but sold on ASOS and I have nearly this dress or if not the same dress but in a midi length this is just it in the shorter length and I think it's so pretty I really really like it I love a little smock dress so much and I love the material that's why I have one of these dresses already just in a longer length tell me please in the comments that I don't need this tell me that I can appreciate it from afar but that I don't need to own it because I kind of want it but it would be ridiculous it would be ridiculous wouldn't it wouldn't it it's pretty though right so if you liked that dress that I've got I think I can't remember if it is the same dress from Simply Be or if it's from somewhere else do you know what maybe it's from New Look maybe it's from New Look so they've just got a very similar design so you know makes it it's a different shop maybe I can justify owning both <laughs> but yeah if you liked that dress from new look but you wanted it in a shorter version they have it on asos from simply b it is beautiful i just do i need it maybe <laughs> now this dress tell me this is not stunning this is gorgeous it is a floor length tiered dress it's in cream with some beautiful bright flowers on it well they're not bright they're kind of more autonomous actually but still beautiful again it has the like waffle elasticated chest that I'm not a big fan of but I'm learning to live with it and it's got some beautiful puffy sleeves 
I really like this. I really like this. It's not often that I like a floor length dress, but sometimes, sometimes they get me. And this is beautiful. It's £35, which for a floor length dress like this is a good price, I think. Some of them like would fetch like a £45 price. So £35, and you can usually get discount codes every now and again. I think that that's a good price and it's just so pretty. Oh, I really, really like this. But do you think it would drown me? Like, with it being such a cream colour, like close to my skin tone and floor length at the same time, maybe it would just like wash me out. You'll have to let me know what you think because it is a beautiful dress. Okay, this next item from ASOS is a bad idea and I should not buy it. I shouldn't, I know it won't work but I want to. It is a polka dot jumpsuit from Wednesday's Girl. I'm not gonna say much about it because you guys have already heard it. Wednesday's Girl is one of my favorite brands. They go up to a 28. I am between a 28 and a 30, more on a 30 these days. And with Wednesday's Girl's 28s, depending on the material, they can come up a little bit small. Jumpsuits I have to size up in once or twice regardless because of where I carry my weight. So in a Wednesday's Girl, I would need a 32 for a jumpsuit to work. Let's be honest, let's not kid ourselves. That's what I'd need. So no matter how beautiful, how absolutely perfect this jumpsuit is, I know it's not gonna fit me and I don't wanna do that to myself. Why buy something that I know is not gonna fit me? <sighs> it's tempting, it's so tempting. You're just like, what if? What if? It could fit, it could do. But experience has taught me and you've seen it, you've seen enough videos where I've seen, felt the lesson over and over again. Experience has told me this will not fit, but if you can get this in a size that would fit you, please buy it because it's stunning, it's everything, and, and I want it. One more thing from ASOS before we move on, and surprise, surprise, it's another Wednesday's girl dress, but this one I stand more of a chance because it is a beautiful, bright, floral smock dress. Their smock dresses usually work for me, and this is just, beautiful absolutely gorgeous it's very bright so i'm feeling a little bit unsure i'm feeling a little bit like oh that's a little bit out of my comfort zone but it looks pretty it does look like it would come up quite short though it, it does look rather short and the back looks like it maybe has like a bit of a cut into if that makes sense but it doesn't look like it would go so far down that your bra is going to be on show which is wonderful that's something i'm always hoping to avoid I think that this will be, when I place an order from ASOS, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this will be in my basket, but you'll have to let me know what you think on this one, but yeah, I would expect to see it in my next ASOS haul. Next up from New Look is this stunner of a dress, absolute stunner. New Look is another one that's like H&M wear. It's not very often that I find a lot on, so every now and again I'll make a purchase, but this dress is one of those dresses that I think I love enough for me to order just one thing. I, I can't remember the last time I did that, but this dress is just gorgeous. It's got the dark black background, but then the beautiful bright orange flowers on it. It's the perfect length. I love the little slit in the sleeves. It's $17.99, great price. It's a skater dress. I love skater dresses. This is, I'm gonna buy this tonight. When I finished um, filming this, I'm going on to New Look and I'm buying this. So I'll report back on what I think of it when it arrives because I promise you, if it's still in stock when I finish filming, I'm buying it. Next up is Nasty Gal. I thought I'd have a quick look. I did do a haul about a week and a half ago, so I wasn't expecting too much newness on there. I'll link that haul up in the cards and in the description in case you've not seen it. But they did have one thing that was new that I was like, if that was around when I did my haul, I would have bought you. It's this polka dot mini pleated skirt and it looks beautiful. Skirts are quite new to me. Well, they're not, I've been wearing skirts for about a year or so now, but it's really hard for me to find a skirt that I love. They need to be long Long enough but not too long they need to fit my waistline and it is just it's a bit of a needle in a haystack when it comes to a skirt but this one will be worth trying it's a pleated skirt which I really love I enjoy a pleated skirt so much and it looks short for a, for a skirt but for a mini skirt it doesn't look too short so yeah £17.50 I may, I think, do I have, I think I have a year delivery pass with Nasty Gal. So again, this might be a one-off purchase because I just need a polka dot skirt in my life. 
Now to finish off, we have got Simply B. Simply B, there was so much that I wanted. Like, oh, so many things. I think I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 things from Simply B that are like, I really, really want you. So maybe there'll be a Simply B haul coming soon. So I'll try not spend too long talking about each item because there's quite a few. First off is this beautiful, beautiful baby blue layered top. It does, again, I think have the elasticated chest area but that seems to be the trend at the moment but I just think it's so beautiful the color the little sleeves with a pair of blue skinny jeans I think that would be a look so that is absolutely beautiful sometimes simply be tops aren't long enough for what I'm looking for so it might be one for me to try and see but in the picture it looks like a really good length so I might have to give that a go I don't have anything like this top so it would be a good addition to my overflow wardrobe the next thing is another polka dot dress of course but this one is coral it's a peachy beautiful coral polka dot dress it has got tears but they it's a smock dress so i don't think the tears would cause me problems quite a simple dress but i don't have anything this color and I really, really, really like it. So I'm probably gonna pick that one up for sure. This next dress, I'm not 100% sure on, so I'm gonna need your help. It is a beautiful black dress with oranges on. It's a strappy dress, beautiful for summer, but I'm just not sure how I feel about like the orange print. Part of me loves it, but part of me is like, I'm not sure if it's my cup of tea, but, I'm very tempted. You'll have to let me know what you think of this one because mm, for summer, that would be beautiful. I just don't know what I think about the orange print. Like, I, no, I think I like it. I think I do, but let me know. I have got an obsession for jackets at the moment. I, yeah, I keep, <laughs> I keep buying jackets and I don't need them. I'm not going anywhere at the moment and I've just got way too many, but I still really want this jacket. It is a peachy, orangey, corally denim jacket. I'm doing this, I don't know why I'm doing this. I think I'm getting excited and it's stunning and I need it. I really, really want it. It's 40 pounds. So I'd probably wait until I had like a discount voucher to get a little bit of money off, which simply be doing a lot at the moment. This is beautiful, beautiful. I need this in my life right now. Next up are these blue paper bag shorts. Now I spoke about, I think in my nasty gal haul, how I really want to try wearing shorts. I don't own any shorts at all. Shorts really scare me because of the chafing. And I mentioned that I wanted to do a video where I was like testing out different chafing products so that I could learn, learn, be able to wear shorts. And you gave me so many amazing recommendations. So that video will be coming soon. But I thought these shorts could be really good because they are shorter denim shorts, but they aren't like super, super short. And I love the like paper bag design. I thought these could be really, really nice as like a first pair of shorts for me to try. So I think I will give these a go. But if you didn't see my Nasty Gal haul and you have any chafing solutions that I can try, let me know because I will be doing a testing video really soon. Okay, we're getting near to the end. I have a feeling this video is gonna be quite long. You know, let me know how long you'd like these videos to be because I feel like I could make them as long or as short as possible. So let me know if you have like a preference on length. Next up are these beautiful spot they're not polka dot they're spot <laughs> print culotte trousers i'm really loving wearing like loose fitting baggy trousers at the moment and i thought these were quite different and just really really cute like hmm i think these are really nice and i'm quite tempted three more dresses from simply be firstly this beautiful beautiful white smock dress with the embroidered flowers on the top. I love this so much. I think it would work really well for the kind of dresses that I love with it being a smock and you could dress it up, you could dress it down. I love the buttons down the front. I think this is so, so cute. I just don't wear white very often. I just, I don't know if it like, just because I'm so pale, I always get a bit nervous about wearing white and all 
also I'm clumsy and I spill things all the time. So that is another thing. But this is beautiful, but it's very similar to another dress that I'm quite tempted by. So let me know if you are team white dress or team blue dress. But this dress is kind of similar in design. It is a smock dress again, and it's got the embroidered pattern at the top, although it's a different embroidered pattern. It's, it's kind of similar, but this one has buttons down the back. I'm not sure how well you can see in the pictures, but there's a really cute row of buttons on the back. I don't know which one I prefer. So let me know in the comments, because I feel like, do I need both? Do I want both? Yes. Do I need both? Well, I probably don't need either of them, but let me know. Are you team blue dress or team white dress? But I just think these are so beautiful. Like I'm really, really impressed with some of the releases from Simply Be at the moment. And one last dress from Simply Be is this tropical dream of a dress. It has straps on it and then it has those, oh, what are those sleeves called? Like cold shoulder sleeves. I really like them. I know they're not everyone's cup of tea, but I really like them. And it is just, it's got the black background and then the bright color. I kind of, when it comes to bright colors, I like the brightness to stand out on a dark background. I think that's what I prefer when it comes to color, but I just think this is so pretty, but it's a little bit, it's, it's, it's very bright. It's very bright. It's holiday vibes. Would I wear it in the UK? Probably. I'm just trying to get over my fear of like super, super bright colors. I feel like I'm getting there, but sometimes I'm just a bit, I'm just a little bit intimidated, but I think it's super pretty and I would be very tempted. Ah, so let me come center again. I feel like I just spoke for a million years, but I've really enjoyed doing the research for this video and putting my thoughts together for this video. So please let me know what you think in the comments. If you've enjoyed it, if you could give it a thumbs up, it would really help me to know to keep making these videos because if you do like these videos I would love to turn it into a weekly series so let me know your thoughts. I just found so many things that I want to buy. I'm scared for my bank balance. Let me know what your favorite things were. I can't wait to hear all of your thoughts on this video and the clothes that we spoke about. And yeah, hopefully in the next video, if I've picked up anything, which uh, yeah, I will be, I can let you know my thoughts and show you them in future hauls and so on. So thank you so much for going along this journey with me whilst I try out something new and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.